Hello and welcome. Welcome to a broadcast for the D2CL. We're gonna have Navi taking on Burden United, and I am Shiver, and my co-caster will be Admiral Bulldog, who is uh, unfortunately still on his way here. So he's in the game. Don't worry, but he'll be here shortly. And as you can see, yeah, there. The camera's not right. Great shot, but there. That's the draft, and that's where we're gonna head towards because. Uh, we're in the game, we're gonna see ourselves a game, well, two games actually, it is a two-game series, and, um... The game, <laughs> game started, well, sorry, I had to talk to an admin there, but we're gonna see a two-game series, Burning United will take on Navi, and actually, this game is b important for both teams for different reasons, reasons, rather. So, on one side, you've got Burning United, who right now has played six matches, Six games, I should say, in the group stages. And Birdie United has won five of them, lost only one. So they're doing really well. They're actually number one in the rankings. And to keep that, keep it that way, they have to win this match. It's very simple. Uh, for Navi, they're not doing great. They've played ten matches. They've won three, lost seven. But they have changed their roster around uh, slightly. So... Um, it's it's a bit tough to say how things are going to go. And for them, it, this time is really important. This is the the practice time they can still get in before before TI to, to get their team like ready for the match. And I don't think they're going to be making it to the top four anymore of the D2CL. But this match is still very important for them to get the practice in. It's, uh, it's a good team to practice against. Birdie United is a team that... Does a lot of different things very often and is actually. Uh, where, there we go, actually. <laughs> does a lot of dif different things. It's a good team to scrim against because you never really know what they're going to come with. And uh, let me welcome in my co caster officially then, Admiral Bulldog. Welcome. Greetings and Five salutations. Dota fans. Yeah, so Dota Birdie fans. United versus Navi. What do you think? I like it. It's going to be a good game. Wolf. Both of the teams seems pretty even right now, I think. I mean, obviously, Navi has been uh, that great recently, but... And uh, Burton United is pretty new, so I think it's pretty even, and it's going to be pretty fun to watch. I think so, too. I actually... Uh, like, what do you think? I just mentioned that for... Like, in in terms of the rankings, Burton United, they're number one. They need to win to keep it number one, and Navi probably doesn't have a chance to make it to playoffs, as they have been struggling lately. So, so what do you think for Navi, where this stands in terms of importance for them with, you know, with qualifiers for TI coming on and etc. Well, I mean, yeah, as you said, maybe this game isn't that important for them for this tournament, but, you know, you never want to lose and it's really important to keep the morale up and stuff like that. So even though they maybe they can't go through this tournament, they still need to win just to get back on the horse. Yeah, I, I fully agree. And we have actually a uh, DK Phobos is missing. Uh, as uh, as of their official roster, it basically is four players and a stand-in. Stand-in is their standard stand-in is Soneko. No, they have a second stand-in instead of DK Phobos, which is King R. And I've seen King R in um, IDEC games, I think. Do you have more information on the player, perhaps, since you have played in some of those games? Mm, King R, I don't actually recognize him. Uh, Soneko, on the other hand... He's. I played some games on Idek with him, and he's he's really really talented individually, and he has a sick Rubik. Although they already have Vanscore for that, I guess. But yeah, I don't know much about King R, but Soneko is really talented for sure. That I know. Well, we're gonna be able to judge King R depending on what he plays as well, of course. But uh, see how he does. So far, in terms of draft, I mean, we don't really have a lot of surprising things. Uh, Batrider banned out. Vengeful Spirit. And Shadow Fiend. I also was one of the first bands. I still find it slightly overrated, but oh well, it's a good one to have regardless. Sniper Earthshaker for Navi with a Troll and Queen of Pain from Birdie United. What's your take on the draft so far? Well, they got the Sniper, so they probably want to ban Clock right now, which is probably the best counter to Sniper, or one of them for sure. So uh, and they got the Troll and Queen of Pain pretty early. Oh, there's the Clock ban. Uh, but yeah, Wisp, I, I personally think he's really good. Really good. So, I think he deserves that ban. Okay. Well, obviously, I'm, I'm not a professional player, so my opinion is probably not as, value if, uh, as valued as others, <laughs> in terms of Dota, at least. Um, 
for Queen of Pain is also one of those heroes like a gap closer to kill the Queen of Pain. Uh, rather kill the sniper. Is that enough to deal with the sniper? Which other hero do you think Birdie United wants to go for to be able to deal with that? Oh, I like that hero though. Well, Spirit Breaker is one of the heroes they, that can just charge a sniper, but I guess it was a plan to just steal it so they can't kill a sniper that easily now. And, uh, hmm. This Queen of Pain, I wonder if it's going to be played mid. Because we've seen a lot of Sniper versus Troll mid recently. Uh, that seems to favor Sniper, though. But, yeah, I wonder how good Quap will do against a Sniper. Who should win in theory? Like, based on only heroes. Oh. Hmm, I'm not sure. I mean, Sniper's been changed recently. So, and Cop has been buffed as well. Uh, I think Cop should be doing fairly fine. But she can't really harass that well, so... I mean, it's, it's gonna come down to ganks, so whoever gets ganked and so on... ...can get shut down severely, so we'll see about that. Well, we have a couple of supports banned out by Bird and United. They have the Dazzle and the Skywrath removed. We already have the Earthshaker and also now the Spiritbreaker. Do you think Spiritbreaker is gonna be played as a core here? Or is that gonna be like Earthshaker number 5 and Spiritbreaker number 4-ish support... ...slash getting farm and starting charging people when you get level 3 or something? Well, usually Spiritbreaker is played in offlane, but I've seen him played support as well. Um, I, my guess would be they're, gonna, they're just going to play it as uh, offlane. Because they already have Earthshaker as a support, it's just probably going to sit mid a lot. So they need a hero in the safe lane who sits there as well with uh, the carry. Um, so yeah, it's probably offlane. And yeah, yeah, it must be offlane. Okay. Well, Witch Doctor now for Birda United. They have... Uh... Well, two more heroes to go for both teams. Another support for Birdie United, as well as an offlaner. Clockwork banned out. Any other supports that come to mind for Birdie United that would be really good against the combination that they have so far? So far. Hmm. Well, I think they're pretty open to a lot of things right now. It's it's hard to predict what they want to pick. And the line for Navi. Yeah, so that's the support, obviously. Mm-hmm. And uh, usually with Sniper, you have a more space-creating carry in the safe lane, because Sniper is pretty beastly Slark is late game in. and mid game. Yeah, I hear like Slark or Slaughter is something Alliance ran a lot. Uh, but I'm not sure what Burden. I haven't looked at too much of their games, uh, so I'm not sure what they're going to pick. I know they like Enigma, Ooh. the Treant. All right. Does that mean Phoenix comes next for Burden United? Uh, it's possible. I mean, but I like this. The stream is really good against Spirit Breaker because Spirit Breaker, one, first of all, he only got single target TPS, and you want to charge people early game, and the stream armor is going to make it really hard. So uh, I like that pick. It's gotten popular, the stream recently, and I don't like that. You don't like it? Why not? <laughs> because it's annoying to it's, play it's, against? It's, or? Yeah, it's one of the more annoying heroes. And this I got period, which you will eventually get as a support, it doesn't matter if you get it 20 or 40 minutes, it's going to be relevant. Unless the game is over at that point, obviously, but yeah, it's a, it's an annoying hero, very annoying. Yeah, it might not be the most exciting hero either, <laughs> in terms of uh, people want to see some action normally when they're watching Dota. Uh, Phoenix did get banned out, by the way, so we're going to look for a different one for Birdie United in terms of offlane. And uh, for Navi, they have one band going against them and then their core still to be picked up. As you said, a space creating core. So Slardar and Slark. Still in the pool because Juggernaut were the one was the one that got banned out. Actually, I completely forgot about the Juggernaut. Which one would you favor over mm. Slark or Slardar? Juggernaut. Well, Slardar is not so good anymore because it's Shrient. And Slark is pretty good against Shrient because he removes the armor instantly with the dark pack. So oh, yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing a, a Slark here. It's pretty good against the heroes. Uh, yeah, I think it could work. And that's, of course, all assuming that Sniper is in the mid lane. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, yeah. Well, pretty much everyone runs sniper in the mid, so yeah, maybe they do something different. But that's that's where he belongs, I think. Okay. Well, I kind of like the combination of sniper Earthshaker against the troll warlord. Regardless, I mean troll for like you say, you don't like the tree and protector that much. I don't like troll that much, and I really like how Earthshaker and sniper can actually deal with him. Just place a fissure and he can't run across, and sniper can basically hit him from the other side in theory. Is this a game where a troll goes for a blink dagger? Do you think? Well, usually you always go <laughs> blink on troll after Sunshine Asha or maybe BKB. It's it's a super good item on the hero and 
especially against sniper. So. So that's a yes. Yeah, I, I, you definitely go. You definitely go dagger. It's it's in by in in by item okay. on every hero. Okay, well, 30 seconds left in the bonus time of Navi. They're still thinking about their last pick. Apparently, Slark, or rather, Slardar is not as logical. I'm trying to uh, to pick my brain to see how which other heroes could fit in their lineup. Which other heroes come to mind for you? If any. Hmm. Well, we're going to see in five seconds what Navi's going to pick. So, Wow. Oh, the I, Razor. I would have All not right. thought that one. Well, I've seen him play it recently. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if it worked out that well. The hero is kind of forgotten after the nerfs and just buff on other heroes. Um, but it could work out this game. They got tons of control with the support and the Spirit Breaker. And him just being tanky running in, it's kind of what you want as a sniper. So you can just stand back and just attack. So yeah, that, that can work well. Yeah, and he forces people out if he starts uh, with the static link on the troll, for example. The troll can't continue attacking, so he has to back off. Yeah, it's actually really smart. It makes sense. So smart. So smart indeed. And also gives you a bit of extra pushing potential for later on in the game. That's something that Navi, of course, had in the form of the sniper with uh, long range. But with the Razor, if he gets an axe at some point, they can just storm run over the base spirit. of Burning United, who goes for a Storm Spirit. All right. Interesting. Nice. So it's good here against Sniper, but need to make sure he has a good laning phase. Because if this storm is underformed, it's not so good anymore. Uh, and it seems to be off lane Queen of Pain, which is pretty good actually. But yeah. Yeah, I like Queen of Pain off lane. It's good. Yeah, especially with uh, with their long blink as of uh, Patrick, I think. And Tree and Protector there. I mean, Tree and Protector kind of makes everybody a decent offlaner, I feel. Or at least a lot of a lot more heroes have the potential to be an offlaner if there's a Tree and Protector in the game with the living armor there to help out if needed. And he should be getting okay levels as well against that Razor. And everybody disconnected! All right. Need a remake. Game. Okay, we're going to have a short remake. So let's uh, let's do that real quick. All right. All right. I'm going to leave the game. It's going to be very tricky. And there's no new lobby up yet. That's sad. All right. They reconnected. No, they didn't. Oh. Did you leave? Yes. Kappa. All right, let's go. You didn't, uh, did sure you? I'm sure they're remaking. I did leave as well. Okay, thanks. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be worried there. Oh, uh, well. There it is. Thank God. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. So who do you favor? In this game? Now that you've seen mm. the draft. You always favor the sniper. Sniper is win. That hero is so good right now. And it's Dendy playing it, so... Yeah, trust Dendy. Okay, so record shows that Navi should actually not win this on paper. The records? The records. What records? The records. The, the records? The records. Alright, well, I'm not going to question you. The only records that exist. No, it's, um, it's basically because Navi has been not doing so well lately. And Bird United has been... Even though they're not like on top of the list of everybody's uh, of everybody's team favorites, they are still very fairly stable in terms of their performance. So. Yeah. Um, hmm. All right. Let's hope the game starts soon. Yeah, I'm waiting for everybody to be ready. Should we type ready? Yes, we should. All pick. That would be nice indeed. Mm, yes, but you get less time to go to the lanes and prepare. Is that a, is that a big deal? It is sometimes. If you especially if you're planning to go into jungle and ward. But uh, no one had a jungler, so maybe it's not 
Oh, and then the admin actually says that we needed to uh, need to go. Captain's node. Well, time to find out if someone has some plans of going into the jungle fast. But first, we're gonna see the whole draft over. Hey, hey, look at why why we changed. We're not gonna see King R in action. We're gonna see DK Phobos. All right. All right. That's kind of cheating. Why? Because they draft they they drafted around King R. Are now they changed player. Maybe they knew all along that DK Phobos was gonna be there. Or you mean Burden United drafted around? Yeah, Burden United. Clear case of cheating right here. I'm very disappointed. Let let people know that there should be a Kappa in there somewhere. I hope. So we're gonna see, and whoever is gonna see this game in the ticket and is gonna watch it back later is gonna wonder what is up with that draft. Because oh, mm. this is actually for um for for sites like um that Dota and stuff. This is actually not so good that all those bands are like randoms. But then again, they might not remember all their bands. They would remember all their bands. They forgot. Hello. Hmm. What did they do? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. What are they forgetting? I think they're forgetting what they should ban. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just the heroes uh, they picked. Apparently it mattered. They took a long time. Why? I don't know. Uh, oh, you don't want to ban the hero you're picking. It's confusing. Yeah, okay. that is confusing, I guess. Team have to be wary for that. It almost sounds like he says Drow right. Warlord. Okay, let's see what we got then. Let's see who's gonna be uh, doing better in the lane than others. Yeah, I mm. like the Razor actually a lot. I would favor Navi's pick, uh, Navi's draft because of the mm. Razor mostly. Hmm. Well, it appears my microphone is is bad according to chat. Can we change your team speak if I give you? If you give me details, the password? then I. All can right, go I'll give there. you to you. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, guys. We'll get there. You just have to start up my XSplit, apparently. Which, uh... I am. Soon. This is... User <coughs> now, sorry guys, we're sitting in a channel switched thing. No, hello, I'm, hello, Shiver. Hello, please talk to me. Nah. I'm scared and I'm lonely. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Yes. All right. Good. Can you hear me? I can hear you. All right. All right. And you can hear me constantly, right? Because I just turned I my micro my microphone is on all the time. Yeah, you sound beautifully. Oh, I love thanks. it. Thanks. Okay, so let's see who's playing what and who's going where. As um, well, we did have someone moving into the jungle, come with me, went there to uh, block some camps. Um, but come with me for Burning United. We'll be playing the Witch Doctor. Support is his rule for this game. We have got for the bottom rune, Sing Sing and Shokska or Paris wanting to uh, take that bounty rune. And uh, Shokska playing the Queen of Pain mm -hmm. and Sing Sing playing the Troll. My nuts will play the tree and protector, and then last but not least, it is Necroman playing the storm spirit, already rotating to the top lane, and apparently foregoing on the top rune because they don't want that one. All Smart right. choice. Do you want to introduce Navi? Sure. It's Havost on the razor, Diki Phobos on the spirit breaker, Senecro on the lion, and Dendi on the sniper, and I think that's all the players. I think you forgot one. No, no, I'm pretty sure that's all. I think you forgot one. Uh, meow Meow plays Earthshaker. <laughs> or Van Score. Could be two. Support role. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so All they're right. doing some dual links here. 
Uh, they are. Are they gonna stick around with these? Because, I mean, this is... Oh, actually. Look at my nuts. It's completely aggressive. And actually, maybe a bit too <laughs> aggressive. If uh, Soneka was there a little bit earlier, he does have boots, then there might have been something possible. But the dual lane, bottom lane as well, and a lot of aggression coming from Sing Sing and come with me here as well. So dual lane with the Troll and the Witch Doctor against the solo Razor should be easy for Burning United. Yeah. You've got a uh, Storm Spirit against the Spirit Breaker, which should be a decent lane for Necroman as well. Especially if my nuts rotates further top, which, by the way, Soneko is doing as well, so it might be a, le a bit less easy. Uh-oh. Not a leash sheet coming out. This nope. could actually be very troublesome the for my nuts. Or? More bashes needed. Oh, and a my charge. First blood. DK Fovas. My nuts got bashed. Yes. The dream. <laughs> God. That was some good RNG. That was a, that was amazing RNG. I never have that when I play Spear Breaker. It's yeah. bad. But uh, whose lanes okay. do you favor? Because so far, I mean, I thought Birdie United was actually... Being pretty smart with the lanes. They now have an aggressive tri lane with my nuts rotating bottom. With Lion actually ro coming in from behind mm. again on Stockskai. This could be troubled. Level 1 still though, so only Nurse Spike. And yeah, this bottom lane. Generally, you want to. Oh, they're going? No. Uh, you want uh, this racer to have. Oh uh, my okay. god. Okay, is he gonna die again? Oh, this could be. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. He, he's making all those. <laughs> He's making them <laughs> very easy to make. It's yeah, okay. Oh god. This could yeah, be bad. They're saying you want Racer to have farm this zero under farm this it's not so good and they kinda of falls off and you can't really catch up that easily, but that kill or he got assist at least, so yeah that that's nice for them. They're going for top as well now. Huh? Yeah, charge was there. In comes the Nago with an Earth Spike. Is it enough though? Another Hex coming out. There is no oh. charge. Oh my And God. that's not going to be yeah. a kill. There's only two Tangos for Storm Nurse, so he might have to go back. Unless my nuts can share some regen, but he doesn't have any. So, indeed, Necroman will move back to base. A lot <laughs> of movement in this game. I think they could kill that Storm. Yeah. If they dove? Dick yeah, yeah, Dick of Phobos. He needed two hits. And with his bash luck, that was a kill. But yeah, playing it safe, I guess. Hmm. They're going for mid. The DD. Yeah, I'm not sure if he can. Well, I guess he can. If he gets a lucky cask. Oh, hmm. okay. okay. Never mind. Hello, Van Score right. rotating in. Shrapnel is there. Nice cask, the though. Dunks. Might be enough. And the living armor coming out as well. But hello, Soneko as well. He has a hex, he has an earth spike. And he'll probably use both. To get the kill, Dendi will take it on the sniper. 3 0 in 3 minutes. That's impressive. <laughs> yeah, things are going good. Well, in terms of kill, but the lanes are going still pretty good for Burden, Burden United. Uh, it's, not, it's not that bad just yet. It's early game kills, so it doesn't matter as much. True. And on top of that, I mean, uh, Burning United has the um, most last hits on the map on all three lanes, regardless of dying. So yeah. The heroes that are dying are the supports. Mostly. Indeed. And, yeah. He's, my nuts is pulling up top again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't yeah, know how people can cast it. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's tricky. Uh, I think it takes some time. <laughs> But yeah, the, the try landing bottom now for Navi as well. So that should secure some extra farm for Navi. So they they had a decent start, mostly because of mistakes from Bruno United or maybe underestimating their opponents. Hmm. Perhaps. Yeah, maybe. And oh, yeah. So the and uh, let's, let's see if they are gonna switch lanes soon. Bruno United, you mean? Yeah, I don't think Troll wanna stay. He's probably gonna rotate to jungle soon. Oh, they're going for a kill, maybe? Nope. 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 Yeah. I think it's gonna slow down a bit now, especially Trian's got levels. Yeah, we um, have actually Seneko stacking uh, in the jungle, making sure that those stacks will be taken by uh, probably Razor, maybe even Sniper. Maybe even Earthshaker for the Blink Dagger at some point. Yeah. Well, they don't have that good clear. It's only Sniper. The oh. diving middle. Yeah, oh, well, I'm not sure why. This could be. Uh, oh, it's got a region. It's yeah. just doing some. Yeah. If Soneka was closer, though, that would have been very scary. Yeah, that was a kill if it was. Mm -hmm. 
Sing Sing actually looking to go aggressive on a Vos, but he is fast enough to back off. He has boots. He is uh, he's doing okay, and so far Sing Sing doesn't have that extra movement speed that he needs. And actually, Sokska, again, very aggressive. Now also getting charged. All Might right. be in some trouble. If the charge actually um, cancel the charge. Yeah, thanks. DK Phobos. Still 10 seconds before his next charge if he wants to, though. He did leave top, so it's kind of obvious that he is missing, Radiant that someone is getting charged. So people will be mm. more careful. Sing Sing's got face boost now. This makes the hero so strong in the laning phase. But I don't think they can kill as long as her trigger is down here. No, Lansker oh. is hanging around. He did go for a pull go. early around as well, keeping the lane in check as much as possible. Queen of Pain gets an Invis rune and is looking to make something happen. He will get spotted though so it's gonna be an obvious gank and it might turn yeah. into a counter gank as well as Navi has been doing that just every time Burner United made a rotation got a kill and a oh. pause the pause the pauses begin well do you think DK Phobos is gonna die on the top lane he has a leech sheet on him uh, let's and there's take a look. no level in vortex okay explain to me uh, why no level in vortex not even one you don't need it early game generally, and you need other skills to uh, do more damage in the lane and harass. And yeah, you usually don't gank that early anyway, so you, you skill so. it at eight. So, I mean, you could skill it. You could save a skill point in case a scenario like this happens. But yeah, generally, you just yeah, go for more damage. So DK but Phobos is fine, right? Because he can just charge away. Yeah, it depends if he's a choker. Yeah, I I'm gonna fine. assume he's not a choker. But uh, you never know. You never know. I mean, yeah, I can make some bad jokes, but trying not to. It's going very well. <laughs> <laughs> We've got All Storm right. level six, but at the same time, also Spirit Breakers level six. He has been having a great game. In yeah, terms of levels, he's got, he's got, a, lot got a lot. Less hits as well. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good lane for him as well. I mean, it's only a storm there. And the treat was there a little bit, but so was the lion. So, yeah, he's got an, quite a decent amount. But at the same time, so has Burden United in their offlane, so... Yeah, the only yeah. one that seems to be uh, suffering in the, in the lane a bit is Dendi. Yeah, he did get a kill, so that's really great for him. But in terms of farm, he is behind on the Queen of Pain, and Queen of Pain, of course, has a lot more movement now that she's also level uh, 6. is gonna go for some more runes, got an invisibility rune in the bottle. <laughs> I don't think... Well, actually, she doesn't have a um, level in Sonic Wave. I think when she gets that, then Sorkska can get a kill on... on on Dendi, do you think he can get a kill right now or not? Hmm. Everybody knows that he has invisibility and that he is running towards mid soon because, I mean, he's got. He, they know. He, well, they saw him pick it up. If he dives a tower, the, the support will TP. Unfortunately for them, they don't have TPs, but he can't assume that. He assumes that they have TPs, so he can't really dive. And at the same time, if he dives far, then the Spirit Breaker will charge in, and he's level 6, so he, he needs an ult to begin with. Which he hasn't skilled yet, which isn't that uncommon. You think uh, you got him at seven? Um, no, no, no. He's gonna get scream for sure. Seven, maybe at eight. But generally, it's, it's so expensive in mana. It's level six. Uh, but if he had it, he could maybe kill. But yeah, I'm a bit surprised. The sniper has so low last. It's fourteen only. Mm. Yeah. Had a had a rough time against uh, Shokska. I mean, he has si he's sitting on 15 denies, so he was able to uh, to make uh, work of that early stage of the lane a lot. I guess it's a lot the tree armor. He probably just blinks. He probably skilled Shadow Strike level two or three. He blinks in Shadow Strikes, gets armor. Sniper has to run, and he keeps doing that. But yeah, it's probably hard lane indeed. Goddamn oh. Navi. Yeah, we're waiting for Van School to return back to the game. Hopefully, it's uh, nothing that can't be fixed. Let's put it that way. Meow meow. Meow meow. It's always him. Is it? I think so. Well, a lot of times I've seen it's him. Do you think it's because he might be not protected well enough while the rest is? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how how they do it in Russia. I don't know yeah. how they do it in Russia either. Yeah, it's it's an interesting place. Maybe it's Meow Meow doing something. Do you know who Meow Meow is? Uh, no, actually. It's okay. his girlfriend. Well, I, that would be my guess, but I've never seen her or anything yeah, like that. I'm just saying that it's his girlfriend. Okay, thanks. Fever. Do you know? I know. I think I might have seen yeah. her as well. 
but I'm not sure. I have not. Are you jealous? Of Meow Meow? Of me having seen Meow Meow. No, I've seen you. Oh. Yeah, I think I've seen her at DAC. Mm. DAC? Alright. China. They bring the grills? I think right. that he did. Well, they Someone usually do did. it to Star Ladder. Well, I haven't been but, to the last yeah. season of Star Ladder. Oh, but I, I think that the, that one before I saw her as well. Probably did. Yes. I'm going to say yes. I did see her. Mm. Uh, there will be a riot soon. In the chat. I think there already is. Uh, it's looking fine. It's fine. It's going really fast. It seems like to be a tactical pause. If you, see, you can see the drawings. I can't. No, you did, I did, didn't see drawings. There I saw things drawing. though. Hey, you see? Then he's pinging right on him. That's yeah. some yeah. stream snipe. But we know that he is like <laughs> good. But that was exactly on him. That was yeah. almost exactly. It was yeah, like. He was guessing. He was just guessing. But I, I guess, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, the moment that the Queen of Pain picked up the Invis Rune and walked towards the bottom lane. Everybody yeah, well, of Navi moved back already. Like, it was kind of obvious that they saw the Queen of Pain moving into the jungle. So, yeah. Navi, with the knowledge that Burden United knows, that Queen of Pain knows that she has been spotted going into the jungle, she now rotates. And that's something that Navi knows because that's like it's a double no, you know? Yeah, well, they know exactly what's going on. Yes, exactly so, that. And it is chilling. There's no ETA, no response. He's doing something, all right. That's good to know. But he's doing something. Just so you know. Okay, that's good to know, though. With all these skills going towards Navi, still the net worth is, uh, like, in terms of the three cores, is in favor of Berna United. I mean, the difference is maybe that the Spirit Breaker and the Troll are... The Spirit Breaker has six more gold... Than a troll, but I'll forgive him for that. Six more? Six. Hmm. Right. Seems like they're losing then. That six gold? That made a difference. Everything makes a difference. <laughs> Alright. Well, I think, I mean, I think DK Phobos is not gonna die on top lane. Well, Sing Sing, I don't think he can get anything here. Well, actually, I mean, there's only th two people here on the bottom lane for Burning United. And with three people sitting here for Na'Vi, do you think they could make something happen? Nah, not with the cask there. The cask is level two. Well, if the lion comes from behind, they can kill a troll. They can kill anyone. Well, they have the tree armor, actually. Yeah, it's ready as well. But the thing is, they're so deep, so they can chase with the, the static link. And they have doubles, triple disabled, so if the line somehow comes from behind, they can kill someone there. It'll be fine, but yeah, yeah, that's possible. It's gonna happen. With a game like this, where Razor is up against a troll with face boots, Razor has to go face boots as well, right? Kind yeah, of. He, he probably will get face boots, uh, even though he wants to tank up. But I think, yeah, usually always go face boots on Razor anyway. What do you think the build for face Razor is gonna be? Uh, what time like does he want to have his eggs? Third well, item, probably... second item, first item. Well, he's gonna go face boots, wand, and Aquila, then point booster, and then just go the Aga. And after that, um, maybe BKB is pretty good this game. He probably needs BKB, yeah. And he needs something for the treant as well, the ult, which is BKB or Manta. But yeah, probably you might go BKB before as well. Aga, but I don't think so. Nice, Davai. Okay, Davai. It's good news. He connected back in. Yeah, I find Aga on Razor to be one of the the items that's going to define the aggressiveness of a Razor. Like until then, he might only want to farm mostly. But I think with Aga, he wants to push more than farm, perhaps. At least yeah, that's I mean, what it seems to for He me. doesn't have to play hard carry. This sniper is a good carry by itself. But yeah, he's, he's, as I said, he's got 
Not that many last hits. And yeah, let's see what happens now. Finally it begins. Well, everything kind of um, went as we expected. The charge away from DK Phobos was there. He teleported back to base. Shokska gave up on his attempt to go anywhere in mid, so he backed off. We keep it? And the right. rotation happened as well. They're going to go for Singsy here. The Link is there. The Fisher is there already. Second, the stuns with the cask. Bouncing oh. between the supports might be the saving grace of Sing Sing, and indeed it is. And actually, Sokska coming in. Sing Sing might not have any damage yet, and I think Sokska might have been spotted. Perhaps not. They know the Spirit Breaker is close. With Sokska going forward, Soneko only one hit away from dying. Blinking oh. forward for Sokska. That is going to be a kill. And in the <laughs> meantime, uh, Queen of Pain just gets obliterated with the Nether Strike. Charge and headshot for Come With Me and Sing Sing. All he could do was stand by and watch because for the most part of the game, he didn't have any, for this fight rather, he didn't have any damage because everything was drained. Yeah, that was a little bit overextending there, especially <laughs> against the heroes they have. Uh, and oh, another pause mm -hmm. by Meow Meow again. Yes. It's one score. It is. It is one score. Why is he doing this? Maybe, maybe Meow Meow is, is I don't know. Not happy with him playing Dota. I don't know. Interrupting him. Yeah, girls. Girls. Typical. But that was overextension from Burning United, right? Or at least yeah, underestimating sure. Navi. I got a little bit lucky there as well that the Fisher missed. If that Fisher hit, that cop would have died without killing the lion, probably. Yep. So. Yeah. Pressuring top now. Yeah, Necroman, of course, did not rotate towards the bottom lane. He continued farming. They're actually pushing now a lot as well. Should be able to get this tower unless Navi um, puts in some heavy guns to defend it. So far, it's only Saneko showing up. Yeah, what are you gonna get this? Yeah. What do you expect for the storm to get this game? Like, first oh, yeah. item. Is it gonna go. Probably Orchid. Really? Especially since it's safe lane. He's farming really good. Yeah. Missed the tower, though. Uh, going to Solring first. Radiant's it could usually. Well, I mean, you can go. Uh, what is the item called? Uh, Bloodstorm first. But I think the silence is really good, especially against Lion and Earthshaker. And Spirit Break, because Spirit Break got a long cast time. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, actually, as a Storm, I've recently found that if you do your Nether Strike, Storm can just do a little zip and it interrupts it. It's really annoying. Yeah, he disappear disappears from space and time. Yes. So you can't ult that. It was very Pretty frustrating. Good. Yeah. And, hmm. Well, this, they're farming really good on burning United. And with the tree, and, and yeah, I think, I'm not sure what's going to happen for Navi now. I mean, they are 5-1, and one, which if you enter the game, it might look good, but definitely say the burn United is in the lead here. And they're in the leading gold, in the leading experience, and of course a lot of the gold comes uh, from the tower as well, um, the tower on top lane, which for now it's not going to be paralyzed by or paralleled by Navi taking a tower of their own, unless they can get something oh. in mid. Sorkskai does manage to blink away. He's still getting charged though. Do they actually still want to go for this? They might want to. Well, the blink is really low co or long cooldown now, so oh, it's too long. And mm, for a second. Uh, Good and actually Storm, storm going in, in. Right. Dendi coming yeah. in too far forward, nice Fisher, actually not so nice Fisher, it missed Sonic Wave helping out as well with the Storm getting the last hit, Living Armor coming out for Necroman, he is getting charged though, he has to be careful, and goes for Vanscore, he's driving. maybe a bit too aggressive, he has got a Soul Ring, might be able to jump away, he doesn't have a Soul Ring anymore, never mind, he is actually dead, and that was overextension at its mm -hmm. finest. Well, he got two kills, which I don't think he should have gotten. I mean, if this Earthshaker hit the Fisher, that yeah. obviously wouldn't have happened, but yeah. that was some real crazy place, which, I mean, it worked out, so it was a good place in the end, so. Well, after the Sniper, he probably should have gone back, because an Earthshaker is not that important to kill before you die. Yeah, so I should probably be back there, and, well, yeah, the Storm is just going to rotate and go around, killing now, maybe jungle someone, they're just leaving top the tree now. And well, already like you can see him climbing in the networks. So yeah, he's, he's gonna get his egg soon enough. And Sing Sing is getting another charge here on bottom lane. The lane is pushing in though, so this is a very risky uh, plan to go on. And actually, 
I mean, he's running through visual places, so I think he's gonna cancel that unless he really wants to go. Oh, okay, no. Fisher. Wants to go. Where's that Fisher? No Fisher just yet. It comes another strike and a Fisher, but right. another strike alone would have been enough. Task is going off, but it didn't uh, get lucky. Didn't hit too many heroes there. So nice skill going away of Navi. Yeah, definitely need her there. They need to make more of these happen. Oops. Charge, oh, go for come with me. That's an easy kill, or is it? Living armor oh. coming out. A Fisher there though hits on two, gets the kill on come with me. Oh mid. Storm uh, zipping in. Then need to target again. In comes Suneko, and that actually is enough to back. Off for n for a storm spirit. He is gonna get a headshot. No, it's gonna get cancelled. That was all his mana. Yeah. Did he have that long? Yeah, this a guy jump? is really aggressive with the storm, and just going all all in. But it forced two rotations, so this is still good. Still good. He's creating space. Meanwhile, tree and farming top level seven already. I mean, this is minute twelve and eleven, or minute twelve, and he's four in living armor. So hard for Navi to kill now. They don't really have any damage over time that takes a lot except shrapnel, which doesn't take that often. But that armor is really good. Yeah, uh, we have another pause. And it seems like Burner United are getting slightly uh, tired of things, so the minimap is now their drawing board. And this is Dante uh, stream snipe tactic. You draw on the map so you can't see. Smart! And, uh, yeah, I saw it on Reddit. Can't see anything now. Can I help them? Yeah, I'll help them. I don't. No, you need to help them. You need to draw. Oh God, do I? You need to mass draw. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Thanks. Well, you learned something. Yep. Do I really? Look, I could just put a picture up, you know. <laughs> well, I don't think now we are cheating. I don't so. think so either. So I'm not sure why I'm doing this. <laughs> Although my patterns are really pretty, I don't know why they turn out this way. Look. It's like I'm drawing a very thick line, but I'm not. You're an artist. Can you see what I'm drawing? I guess that's a no. But wait, I can or see what you're see? drawing, yeah, but oh. it's not actually something. You're just drawing, like, yeah. lines. That's... I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Not everybody is an artist, you know. Can you draw something? I, I am right now. This is me drawing things. I'm left handed and my mouse is right handed so left handed. I, so I am drawing with my right hand, which is not my left hand, so obviously my precision is not really great. That's part of the reason why I'm not a professional Dota player, and on top of that apparently if you have cats, cats place a parasite in you and that yeah. lowers your reaction time. And that's the second reason why I'm not a professional Dota player. Oh, because you're left-handed? Because I'm left-handed and yeah. because I have a cat. Every pro player is right-handed. Are you, you sure? didn't know that. Yeah, you can't be left-handed. Why not? Oh, you yeah. You can't control the mouse. Well, some people have left-handed mice. It's fine. I've never seen it in my life. I have, but only after I already learned how to use my mouse with my right hand. I'm actually curious to find out if everybody's... Because I wouldn't be surprised. Are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm left-handed. Oh. That's why I'm not a pro anymore. I knew it. Well, actually, I'm right on it. But okay. I wonder if there's a uh, like any professional player that's left-handed, and if that person is playing with the left-handed mouse or not. That would mm, be interesting. I don't think so. You, you get used playing with your right hand. Yeah, you do. But still, your position is l less. I think. Anyways, we're waiting again for uh for van score. What is this? This is uh, that Sing Sing drawing. He did that before as well, didn't you notice? <laughs> <laughs> That's just mean. Why? There are children. You know Alexa? She's is, watching right now. Is, is that the girl? She's a nine-year-old girl. Is that the nine-year-old girl? That's the daughter of eSports rep? <laughs> he's going to be angry. No, she, he does, she doesn't know what it is. She doesn't know what he's drawing. We didn't well, say I it out so. loud. It is very unprofessional. Right. Hopefully she missed that. That's why you need to put a cover over it. Yeah, well. For Alexa. For Alexa. Maybe next time. Well, so far, I mean, Storm is, even though slightly aggressive, he is uh, doing what he needs to be do doing. Needs to be, yeah, doing. 
So do you think Burning United, despite being kills behind, as you already mentioned, like, are they on the right path? Are they doing what they want to be doing? Are Burning they... United? Yes. Well, they're just farming, so I think they're happy with that. I mean, the sniper is under farmed. They got a high level tree and it's catching up to even sniper. So I'm thinking they're really happy with what's happening right now. And um, this storm and the cop is just going to go around, keeping pressure up. So I think they're, they're doing really good. Again, even though it's 8 3. But I mean, they're not that far ahead, though. So. And for Navi, what do you think could go better for them? Like, do you feel like they're happy with the way things are going, or what do well, they, they need to change? They want more of these ganks to the bottom. Yeah. With the. Oh, now finally, we're starting. We're starting. It Some more begun. ganks. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. I, I don't remember anything. No, I. Do, do you think that's a that's an issue for the players as well? Because when long pauses happen. I mean, you kind of lose is. momentum of the of the of the game, of the flow of the game. How big of an yeah, issue do you think that is? Extremely frustrating, especially on lands. You sit for twenty minutes, nothing happening. I mean, first of all, you forget certain things, like exactly where they were and what you were gonna do. And yeah, you lose tons of momentum. And not only, I mean, it's also really frustrating. It's just really frustrating when long pauses happen. It takes you out of the game a bit. I mean, it's different for players, I guess, but. Do you feel like it's more favorable to the losing or winning team? Well, I'm not sure it matters top tower for which. Maybe if you're losing, it's you're just sitting being sad. But <laughs> no one is really losing. Right now. I, I was more thinking of if you're losing, at least your enemy team will not be able to continue in the snowball if that they had before, if they had that. Or at least they might not, you know, have the same kind of rhythm that they had before the break. Well, yeah, you, you lose the, the rhythm, but yeah, no more pauses, please. That's all I can say. And yes, this storm, please. the storm, he's waiting. He's a very patient man. They're, they're sitting in the trees for some reason, oh, both of them. Actually, um, come with me, he's getting scouted out, he's getting charged as well. It's like, what is he doing? But that charge, oh, Necroman, he was going to go for that, I think. Finger oh. of death coming oh. out, the charge is there, and that's a kill. Come with me. Why? I mean, he carried the ward. I mean, that's great. He wants to place the ward, but he got scouted well, out. And the gank that see. Necroman wanted to go for? Well, that kind of failed. There was no pause. That wouldn't have happened. You think so? Yeah. He was angry. You know, come with me. He's angry. Well, they're diving bottom now. I think that... Oh, yeah, they are. Sonic Wave coming out for him. Teleports are incoming, though. Perhaps he's going to stay alive long enough, and I think he might be. Sniper is here as well. The Shrapnels will come out, slowing down Sing Sing. Headset coming in as well as oh. the charge. Also for Sing Sing, who already has the living armor. And indeed, with Teleports incoming towards the bottom lane from Verde United as well. DK Phobos is just going to continue going on in his merry way. All right. And the Midas is ready for Triant. Let the farming begin. Yeah, he's, he's oh, gonna be he's getting charged though. Then sniper soon. Is this a kill for Triant? For the well, actually, if he gets lucky bash, not with the living armor oh, on. Never mind. There's no way they can kill him. No. He needs five bashes in a row. Yeah, I'm with the living armor on already as well. That's not gonna happen. He is very hopeful though. One. That's another bash. In comes the nether strike. Maybe knocking him out of the trees. No. Too many trees. Damn trees. All right. Well, then he continuing farming here in the middle lane as well. He's actually uh, not doing that great in terms of net worth. I mean, it's still fairly even though, don't get me wrong, in terms of net worth of all the the core players. But he's just not doing as well as the yeah. Queen of Pain. It's getting a stack now, at least. Yes. Oh, this Spirit Break is going Vlad. Interesting. Despite there being no melee in the team except himself. Shaker. Oh. Well, he's not going to hit anyone, but... Yeah. He's a nice player, Phobos. He does it for his team. Yep, extra armor for everybody. Shokska to meet them showing soon. up bottom. Shokska is also going for uh, for an Orchid though. I say also because the one on Storm is... Uh, yeah. Oh, Echo Slam! Actually, oh. and a Hex! Necroman! Oh, wow! Wow. I don't think that he was expecting that one to happen. Started out as a simple gank on her shaker. Nice Navi's Echo Slam. Back. It's Navi back, at least in this game. That's for sure. But two Orchids are going to be up on uh, Burning United. 
Let's yeah, both uh, Queen of Pain and really go good. for it. How far away are they? Well, the storm is pretty, pretty close. close. Sean has a smoke, so he's gonna go for Roche soon. He needs to wait for someone to be alive so they create some space while he's doing it. Well, my nuts might already be creating some space. He's uh, playing very aggressive. There is a witch doctor fairly close by. Gotta assume oh. that they have some detection when they're cranking it. Oh, actually, they bash him my in. My nuts. Please. Overgrowth. No, no mana nuts. for a. Oh, no, it doesn't need it. Doesn't need extra mana. For nature's guys, that is. What's the rush? Time to create space. No. See, will they know this? I mean. Show has been gone for a long time, so they probably assume he can do it soon. Oh. Well, in comes the charge, Necroman will be able to kill off the lion before he gets charged. DK Phobos though, will end up dead with one more tick from the Witch Doctor Ultimate Havos coming sword. in. Space created is actually real. Necroman waiting as long as he can before trying to zip around. Queen of Pain jumping in Whoa. and actually Storm still dying. Queen of Pain might actually die for this as well with a Havos dealing Armor. 84 damage. Well. That's the space Troll wanted. Yep, mission accomplished. Do you think it's worth having the storm die for that? Yeah, sure. I mean, he brought two people down with him, so True. there's no question about that. Dyer's yeah. Has been Damn troll. And the dire courier dies. Alright. The dire courier died? The dire courier died. Alright, now he's back. <laughs> it had uh, the recipe and the, the remainders of the urn in it. Which were for the Witch Doctor. Poor Witch Doctor. Well, it looks like Navi is ready to start pushing the out charge. some towers. Queen of Pain, please. Ah. Alright, alright. All right. Well, they know he's low now, so they can go mid maybe. They're all here. Yeah, and they're going for come with me already. He's already out of mana, gets a headshot, another strike. That's all that's needed to take him down. They just force people away. I mean, they group up with five. This is for them, maybe at the time they have the Mac, let's push all five. Even if, if they push into an Aegis, apparently that's that's okay as well. Alright. Yeah, that's good. But can they get the tower now? This armor. This is risky taking this. They probably are gonna back. I'm not TP on Storm actually. Oh, which Doctor was still tower. dead? Maybe when... They're not pushing as fast as I thought they would, by the way. It's the armor. The armor of doom. Yeah, well, in the meantime, they're gonna go on Necroman here. He got charged and finger of that with their spike. Yikes. He started quite a lot this game, but that's yes. a dagger lion already. That's really important to get the dagger lion. Yeah, and, and that storm actually had free farm almost the entire first part of the game. And ever since he started leaving top lane, he died for almost every kill he got. Yeah, he's dying quite a lot. Now he's doing pretty good now. We'll see how much the tree and the axe will do later on, because he's farming a lot, taking up a lot of farm from his team. Well, there's four people for Navi on the top lane. It looks like uh, they just want to take out all the tier one towers. They do leave their lion alone so that he might be able to defend bottom. Oh, actually, talking about defending bottom, in comes a spirit the breaker. Charge. Oh, and he cancels the charge and also got spotted out by the aggressive warding. From Bernie United. Actually, they have very aggressive wards up. Both their wards that they have up right now are very aggressive. As for Navi, their vision is actually only one of the Roche pit. Which, I mean, Roshan's already down. So that's. Bottom, that. solo kill. Ooh, yep. Oh, he's gonna die for it. Looks like oh, indeed it. he will die for that. The dagger coming into play. No, well played for Soneko. This Sheehan, though. He's gonna have Axe 24 minutes or something. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, the sentry, please. Yeah, very nice sentry placed by Navi. Might not be enough to kill my nuts, though, as he is able to just walk away with the Witch Doctor Open coming out as well. Sniper already dead. A Vost will be soon to follow. And giving a Witch Doctor's life for that? Very worth it, indeed. All right, that User was... User joined your channel. Not sure what was going on there. I mean, maybe they were feeling confident because Cop was dead. But that was some crazy stuff. And they probably underestimate this Trian as well. Like, look at his health. He's pretty tanky this early. Mm -hmm. He actually lived for a very long time. And he's only 800 gold User away from his acronyms. Yeah. This is really farmed. My nuts are farmed. Yes. How long have you been waiting to say that one? What? 
Alright. Charge. charge coming in. The yep. he saw it. Stroxka. He has got a blink available. And actually, oh. DK Phobos is now stuck in the trees. The next level place. We'll teleport out. I'm just fine. Pause coming out from Dendi in the meantime. What's happening? I don't know. It's a tactical pause. Go here and here. I don't think it's a tactical pause. Can you have the camera here? I have the camera there. Why? Can you hear it? The teleport? Yeah. Yes. Nice. If I go to base, I don't hear it though. Where is he teleporting to? I think it's base. Maybe it's... Oh no, it's the bottom tower. If I go to the bottom tower, I hear it too. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Bertram has red eyes. No pupils. Something wrong with him. Okay. So I have new information on the left-handed, right. right-handed issue. Nice. Naniwa, left-handed StarCraft player. Is he still pro though? That's my question. I think he is. He isn't. He's not playing anymore, is he? Is he not? I'm pretty sure he's not. But he was pretty successful when he did play. Doesn't matter. Yeah, but then people found out he was left-handed. No, I don't think that goes that way. Mm. Well, you haven't found a Dota 2 player. No, but it, you know, it can happen still. You can't name any though. So not I yet. Right. Not yet. We'll find out. Not a lot of people have come forward just yet, but they will. It's fine. Well, people don't want to come out of the closet with left hand. Being left handed. <laughs> well, I'm sure some people will not be ashamed to admit that they might be left handed. Uh, we almost have an Akinims also for Razor, by the way. He's just about 1500 gold away. So that will be a second item after Mechanism. And, and they've already pushed a lot of towers, or at least attempted to push two towers. One died and one, well, they died instead. Tower's not in the night range, though. But with that acronym, so I'm expecting Navi to be a bit more um, push-heavy in terms of actually bringing everybody out. And perhaps once the Aegis... Maybe they weren't, they're going to wait until the Aegis is gone. They actually want to fight. But both mm. teams, I think, like in a 5 versus 5 clash, who do you think would win? Well, this Earthshaker is not that close to Dagger just yet. The Dagger will make a big impact. Generally, team fights come down to who has the better vision and initiation mm -hmm. and BU has Storm and Cop so uh, well at the same time they have Lion and Spirit Breaker but I think Burden and United have a better team fight okay this tree ultimate is really good as well against uh, carries yeah especially if he hits Racer and then people just run away then he's gone for how long is level 2? almost 4 seconds and he's gonna have Ags when they team fight, and I don't think they can't push Navi anymore. It's gonna be really dangerous. Just Storm steps in, kills Lion or Sniper. That's not good. It's mm. no good. They no. got double silence. They do. is going BKB. Cop is definitely gonna be. Uh, I mean, Storm is gonna go BKB as well. I'm pretty sure. And what does Troll has? All right, he's pretty fun as well. Yeah, I'm not sure. Now we probably can't push. They need to kill someone first. Hmm. Yeah, let's not mind the drawings. It's fine. I don't know what it is. No. Hmm. That's good. Such innocence. Do you think Birdie United is gonna mostly play like reactive in the way that you just did when Navi tried to push? Like who has the, the basically the time limit on them? Who which is which team is the one that should be making the moves? Well, Burning United is not that they have double silence. They're gonna go around the map looking for kills. I'm sure. Uh, like they've been doing already. Yeah. And just keeping up what's going on already. Uh, just hoping it will be easier for them now because they got double silence because they've died every time they went pretty much with their cop or storm diving too far. But now that they have silence. And they're probably gonna group up a little bit more. So just gonna run around, kill people with the troll farm. When he's got dagger, BKB, BKB and storm, then they're gonna probably end the game. But before that, 
to see. And the same goes for Navi. I mean, people are not going to fight, man, yet, I don't think. They're just no? going to look for okay. pickoffs. But Lion has ult in 10 seconds, level 2 ult. That hurts. Well, they did try to go for like the three slash four man for the tier one towers, both top and middle. Navi, that is. Even yeah. if into an agony, or rather into an Aegis of the troll. But troll doesn't seem to want to fight yet. He has not been involved in, in a lot of fights, apart from the ones that actually came to his lane and came to him. Yeah, it's just farming. One, one, one. Troll is not that strong early game, to be honest. Especially not, not before he has Sanchi Ash, at, at least. Well, he has that. Yeah, so I mean, he can fight now, but it makes sense. He just kept farming up until this point, but he probably still wants BKB and, and Dagger. I wouldn't mind just seeing a Dagger. Well, well he's pretty squishy. Uh, how long is the Aegis even? He's gonna run out soon. Yeah, they're probably gonna just go pick up and get the Aegis when the Aegis spawns, kill it, and then they're gonna fight, man. The official pause time is expired. Ah, we can wait more different. as long as Burning United agrees. Well, putting the decision on Burning United, how nice of this admin. What a man. What a man. Um, He's not which, a real man. Which tournament was it where Hellraisers decided to, even though the team that was having one person down was forced, I think there was Navi as well, um, was forced to play with four? Uh, what tournament was that? Well, I can look quickly. It's. Uh, it's fine, but well, they, they were forced to play with four and then Hellraisers won and they decided to play over anyways. I, I mean, don't remember what tournament that was, but yeah, that's that's more interesting than just letting the game be paused for 30 minutes. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I don't know why it's up to the players to decide to wait, because if they say, nah, let's play. They're they the bad like guys, assholes. yep. Oh! Maybe he's back the now. But All one right. must wonder he's gonna be back. for how Five long. Five minutes later, he's gonna disconnect. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, you say five minutes. I say eight minutes. Nah, I say twelve. Actually. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. At minute twenty-six. Oh, he's gonna disconnect. Uh, I think at minute thirty-three. All right, let's go. Twenty-three. Mm. Thirty-three. All right. Well, we just saw the Spirit Breaker teleporting to the tier 1 bottom. Shock Sky right. just escaped a gank there. So, so standing still for a little while thinking like, where was I? What was I doing in this world? Yeah. It's farming stacks and the storm. Alright, he's gonna go for solar picks now. He's got his orchid. The lion is standing behind. He should not go for this now. This is crazy to drive there. Is this, is this a bait? Even though it's obvious for us, it should be obvious for him as well. He can he zip in, silence Seneko if he sees him. <laughs> That's the next level place. Uh, and then go for the for a sniper. I mean... Oh, he nice. has a spirit up. He's ready for this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry for cut sounds. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, he's oh. going for a Seneko indeed. He finds him, zips out. There's nothing then he can do. This is a nice kill. Oh, ho, ho, ho. A lot of damage. Yeah, that is a lot of damage. Oh, and a headshot coming out as well. Is he lucky? No, oh, my God. Oh, oh my he actually God. gets it. That should not have happened. That is insane. That was some very lucky headshots. Oh, actually, never mind. The courier that flew in behind Soneko, like that was at the same point, actually brought... Dendi, his uh, Milstrom. Alright. So well, then he got some. I'm not sure if he would have survived though, because the Spirit Breaker was coming in. He would have. Uh, yeah. mana. It, it depends if BU TP'd bottom, which he probably would have. So yeah. He kind of fucked up Dying against that ultimate. He would have survived there. It's kind of a misplay. Well, DK Phobos at it again, going top lane this time. Looking for the tree and protector. Well, he cancelled. I, I wasn't sure he would. Was well, going to be able to do that by himself, anyways, regardless if Troll was there or not. But smart move to back off as uh, Dendi decided to push on the bottom tier one tower by himself. Need no razor. Living armor only going to delay the inevitable, I think, as come with me is trying to pull the creep wave back. Well, yeah, and actually, back. yeah. See Storm spawning. He doesn't know if you keep his bottom or not. True. Well, Storm zipping Again. in up on DK Phobos. Can he take him out? The rest of the team is very far away. There's no Vortex anymore, though. Oh, the overgrowth. I always underestimate that range of the overgrowth. Very nicely done. And of course, tower denied on bottom lane by uh, Queen of Pain. He's got the Aga now, so it's running into the enemy jungle. 
They have vision. This is kind of crazy, just running in like that. But he can. I mean... Well, we'll see. There is one. Oh, actually, online. they have a gem online already. Well played. Because they, they need to. Because They're ready. Even if it wasn't for the vision, the speed of which my nuts can farm is insane. Especially if they're <laughs> if he's taking out all the creep waves of the enemy jungle, then... They have nothing to get on trees right now. So um, yeah, that might problem. be a problem. <laughs> they need to have trees online. They don't have... What heroes do they have? They don't have any heroes that can destroy trees. Like a bat or something like that. Uh, Fisher? Yeah. Fisher? Does it destroy trees? I'm totally lost right now. I don't no, think so. No, it doesn't. So. That's the dream. It's <laughs> the dream. Well, they can easily get a get a headset or crawling blade. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. Smoke so close. Witch Doctor for top lane. Witch Doctor has been the one that's basically uh, has sacked his farm in favor of the Greater Good, naming tr uh, naming the tree and protector. He doesn't have anything apart from an urn, which, by the way, doesn't have any charges. Yeah, why did he go urn? I don't know. He's, he has he's, no charges. He's often not in reach of in range of kills because it's mostly been Storm Spirit ganking. Yeah, he maybe should just rush Aghanims. If you go Aghanim, someone has to disable this hero. Yeah, now but... Now they can just ignore him. But if he goes Aghanim, who's gonna buy the wards, right? I mean, Trium Protector. He can go minute 50 Aghanim. Slow one. Quelling Blade acquired and charge happening on the bottom right. lane. Trium Protector Please. is the target. Overgrowth stopping that. And actually, DK Phobos himself didn't have any detection, so he might have been able to get away anyways. As a uh, Lion yeah. might have been too far away. And his Lion almost died. Well. Look at his HP. <laughs> he died. From what? To the Creeps? overgrowth ult. Oh, the overgrowth actually... Oh, of course, he got stuck with All that. Right. Nice. Well, old trees destroyed. Suneko on the case. It could be ready on Queen of Pain. Mm, charge on the Queen right. of Pain as Bloodstone. well. And they Stone have got dead. the Earthshaker to back it up. He's going to try to teleport out, but the Fisher should come out fast enough. Nope, never mind. Oh. Well, Monscar, no Fisher. It's too short. That's good to know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that would be the reason then. Yep. Great. These wars are pretty good. Pretty aggressive wards right now. Yeah, but they have a gem, so it's um maybe they didn't see the gem and they were placing yeah. the wards. I mean yeah, when your enemy true. team has a gem or when you're playing with the tree and protector with an agonims at this level you kinda have to assume that they have a gem. This train doesn't place any ults yet. Oh, they saw him going in here. This can be bad. Well he placed some ults, but they just they just find it and they will find this one too. I think. Should be able to. Yeah, they're making sure they're one forest is clear from any bad trees. Seems like he knows. Mm-hmm. There he goes. Mm-hmm. Well, I at this point, that Aghanims, I mean, that is like a 4,200 gold item getting nullified by a 900 gold item. <laughs> and hey, oh, we were both wrong, but you were closer. That's right. He lag again. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, now that this stream doesn't need any more form. He's got his Midas. He's gonna get form regardless. So they're putting form on this Witch Doctor. Nice. And he's going slowly for the Aghanims. Sweet. They're happy. And yeah, this stream is forcing them to be bottom in the jungle right now. And I don't think we're gonna see any fight. This Roshan is gonna be where it's at next fight. I don't think anyone wants to give that up. User joined your channel. And, uh, it's gonna be hard for Navi to fight there. Actually, they, they might even give it up. Like, if they fight User there, I think they lose channel. again. Unless they get a really good fight. And oh, he's got a dagger on Earth right now. Actually, that's it's really important. Hmm. All well, right. I don't think. Like, assume this is gonna go worst way, right? Um, Van Score can't come back or whatever. Bump score? If he can come back? Like, if he can't come back, four versus five. We're gonna say... Which player is, uh, is the most useful to control Earthshaker? Because, I mean, still, even without Bump score playing it, like, the, the Fisher still could be very useful. Regardless of how much levels or farm Earthshaker has. 
Yeah. If, you, if someone else controls them, I mean, they're not going to win 4 versus 5. It's basically impossible, I think. Dead here is too much positional base. You okay. need to be on point to to get your stuff off well. Like, yeah, you can fisher into the fight, but you need to have a good fisher. You need to have a good ult. You need to be patient. And Lion can't control him because he needs to do that himself. Yep. You need to focus on his own stuff. And maybe it's only Spirit Breaker. Like, he clicks charge and ults, and then he just controls. Earthshaker, so but yeah, he's back for three minutes. <laughs> Positive thinking. Mm, I think um, they saw that ward. Well, I. I mean, Vanscore walked into the Roche pit. There was an Ogre Frost Mage standing next to him, and he knew that it wasn't of his team. Maybe he was confused because it was so long pause. And it could be, but I mean, that was an. Uh... Yeah, that was an expected one, an obvious one. Actually, at this point, when the. Uh... There's a gem on the on Navi. I mean, obviously the gem is on cooldown right now. How much priority does uh, Birdie United have to try and kill the lion? Because they have been slightly passive. I mean, a couple of their ganks have failed, of course. And right now, actually, Navi is doing pretty well with um, determining the tempo of the game themselves. Well, this lion, uh, this storm is gonna always jump on the lion. If he ever sees lion, he's gonna die. So it's game like this, if you play Lion, you need to stay in the fogs. You need to hide, and you need to go as soon. Like, if you get initiated on, you probably lose the fight. Because this, his disables are so crucial, and his burst is so crucial. Comes to smoke, because you know Roche is going to be up, because the max timer has passed, I think. Yeah, Roche is up indeed. They have... Actually, that doesn't seek. Never mind. Mm. There's The charge is cancelled on my nuts, at least. But everybody's hanging around Roshan. I think Navi themselves, they could potentially do Roshan, but... I don't think they're fast enough. Yeah, Before Navi's Bernie got a bad Roche comes. lineup. They can never yeah. do Roche. Just like they need oh, to kill like this. Like this, yep. They're gonna go for the tree hunt, and he is indeed done All for. Right. Lion fingered my nuts. Yes, he did. The blink initiation in the hex. The gem helping out, of course. The tree protector is not gonna have an easy game, but still. Still going okay for Burning United. As you say, that uh, Witch Doctor is still trying to farm. I say trying because he's getting charged. Oh, mm. the gas! Nether Strike hits in time with the follow-up bash as well. In the meantime, Storm coming in from behind was able to kill out Earthshaker, rather the uh, the Lion. Which Dr. Ultimate DK Phobos dies as well. Dr. Well played. And Necron, oh, the, gem. the gem. Oh, the gem is on deck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Face oh bomb happening god. in real life right now. now so Burning United are going to say, now go play. We don't want to wait anymore. Let's go. Well, Queen of Pain has an inventory slot for the gem. So Havos can see that too, so he'll probably know that he has to back off. There's a cask up for Witch Doctor, which he could throw out. But there's nothing to bounce to for Havos, so it would only be one tick. And Havos has his ultimate up still with an axe on. Are they just gonna both back? Well, Cop has no damage without her ult. She really. has a BKB still, she, can, she has a bit of damage, I guess. Well, if she hits anyone, she's gonna get wrecked. Mm, fair enough. Wrecked hard, and... Yeah, the sniper has Mask Madness on, and yeah, they're gonna have to back. They say that they have to leave the Witch Doctor. At the same time, if Sniper comes a little bit closer, there would be nice cast range. But that would be too late, I guess. Sniper's not fast enough, and he doesn't need to be coming so close. Yeah. The buffs on Sniper. I shoot from a million range away. Pretty good. Yep. And yeah, again, the Storm died. He started six times this game. It's quite a lot. Mm -hmm. It is quite a lot. Especially considering that he did not die early on in the game at all. Like for the first 15, 10, 10 minutes rather. Mm. I want to say 10 well, minutes. Well, he's always brought someone with him when he's died, but... Yeah. Yeah, but well, this time he did too. Been worth it. Yeah, I mean, he killed the lion. But he died for the lion, so... Again, he kills the support and then dies. Base for troll. Yeah. He's Sing gonna solo rush now. Yeah, and Sing Sing was able to kill off Vanscore in the, in the jungle. Channel. Who stuck around for too long, so... Yeah, this is a free rush. There's no way they can test this. User left your channel. I have to see if I can turn those sounds off. I thought I did. Apparently, I did not. What sounds? User joined your channel. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think I deactivated nice it now. I'll try. What? I'll try. 
I'll try. I'll disconnect and I'll try. User disconnected from your channel. Okay, it didn't work. Great. User joined Hello? your channel. Hello. Hello. It didn't work. <laughs> I heard that. Um, right. But I don't Who know else? where I can set that because I'm like a TeamSpeak noob. Well, I had a problem as well, but I changed it somewhere. Yeah, thanks. So I changed it somewhere, so you know that. Mm -hmm. I clicked sounds deactivated. Are you sure you want to have this? Oh, yes. Well, notification. Yeah, I got to settings, notification. I did. And sound deactivated. Can you leave and join the channel again? I will. User disconnected ah! from your channel. User joined your channel. Hi. Hi, didn't work. Nice. So. Well. That hmm. sucks. But um, I'll fix it, maybe. <laughs> we'll find out. All right. In the meantime, we're still waiting for Vansquare to come back. Um, I mean, you mentioned it. You think it's not really fair for the team to decide who... If well, you play on... Like, what is most fair is where someone wrote that players are responsible for their own internet, so... Yeah. If, if you're having problems, too bad. Let's play. That's how it should be. And exchange your potato. It's like a new one. What if there is an outside source having an impact on that outside source outside source like what like ddos well then it's it's your own fault Ooh. okay well everybody dies gem is in the hands of the voice again for some reason i panicked and i thought i was playing so i right clicked on the mini map <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> that happens nonetheless so it's still gonna be a roshan going the way of uh of bernie united they lose a lot of players for that Oh god. <laughs> this hero's being able to solo rush is so so good. It is really good. On top of that he has also got the frost armor of the frost mage. Making it even better. Maybe they should make dashes now work on Rosh. And lifesteal. Well Or maybe Roshan should not be affected by any debuffs. Well, Not even minus starter. armor. Do you think Sora deserves a nerf? Okay, we'll be very. Let's this. Let's. Well, he's been picked up a lot more lately. Yeah, that's right. Don't be a hater. I'm not a hater. My nuts My nuts, sad. Pink George. My nuts is getting almost bashed, but he didn't blink away in time, realizing something was wrong. And and there were some trees again. I mean, regardless of the trees getting removed instantly. At least he's putting Soneko to work. Yeah. What is this Vansko doing? He's AFK. Is he though? He's back. It looks like Lion is controlling him. He was, but... He's back! He is back indeed. Nice. This is really frustrating as a Navi player, I'm sure. Having your teammate disconnect all the time. Yeah. It's really hard to play to 100% in a game like this. At the same time, would you say the same thing from Burnley United? Because they also have to have the pauses. I mean, obviously, it's more annoying for the team that has actually got the disconnects with them. Yeah. Well, it's just not as bad for them. Hmm. Let's get the Bloodstone now. Oh, I would assume he's going Storm. Um, BKB on Storm now, at least. He's got so much disables. Oh, Sing Sing getting charged. There oh. is a tree and close by, but yeah, he scouted it out, making sure that Sing Sing got out in time. Or maybe he does not. He has got the Aegis. Teleports are coming in from the tier 2, but it's a long Here way to go. go. They do want to fight this, though. In comes the overgrowth even before the Fisher comes out as Sing Sing turns on his BKB and is just trying to kill everybody. He is getting static link, though, so his damage is slowly but steadily ticking. He's waiting for Bash. That's why he's still attacking. If he can Bash... Then at least the boss guys use the extra attack damage and they will bring him down. Three Troll for zero. Hitting. Troll was Troll hitting. hitting. Yeah. Uh -huh. Minus 140 damage, no problem. Yeah, not that good of a fight for Navi. <laughs> uh, that was a really good sign of the storm. Sipping in, silencing the Earthshaker. Yeah. And focusing the Spirit Breaker. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's really good. And then Navi's just gonna go high ground. 
And they could get Rex easily here. They Actually, yeah. yeah. Despite despite the, all the damage being drained, I mean, still getting those bashes is like crucial for the for for the United. Yeah, it's a pretty good bash. Yeah. Pretty good bash. Well, without Razor, can they actually defend this, or will they just see their tower fall? Looks like Birdie United is gonna try a bit for the racks. Well. Seeing if they can force out perhaps a buyback. There's none, so they can just stand here. Fisher trying to <laughs> nice, wow, nice blink. What a player! What a player! That's In comes Danny as well. So. I think that's just because it's his name, you know. Oh, they're gonna continue to charge this. Oh, blink forward. Sing Sing wants this. Everybody misses. Saw the quick over three. All That's right. gonna be Rax for there sure. Perhaps even more teleport is getting cancelled. Can they find more? They find Phobos. Trying to get away. Can't do so. So, And I'm not sure why that courier is still in there. Phobos, he's going in by himself. This is this is not really where you want to be. Uh, he well, is delaying them over. from he's pushing. Doing what I mean, he can. You, you may type 4 now. Yeah, you may type 4 now indeed. That's uh, GG will play. That's game 1 over. It's all right. With all those pauses, it's so stupid. But the fight was really good. I mean, that was just controlled by Burning United, regardless of what pauses were there or not. But, well, game yeah. one in the books. But it's a two-game series, so we're still going to have another game between Burning United and Navi. We'll see if they're going to take a stand in now or not. It does not look like they can play on with Vansker, at least. So, yeah, we'll see. Maybe we're going to see uh, King R in action for real this time. But we'll find out. We'll be right back. We're having a short break. When we come back, we're coming back with the second game between Burning United and Navi. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 